if you want to gain a merit for your assignments, you need to meet all the pass criteria. But in addition to this, you need to go into greater depth and also meet the additional merit criteria. The first merit criteria asks you to analyse and differentiate between the role of a leader and the function of a manager by effectively applying a range of theories and concepts. The big difference here between this and the pass criteria is that now you need to use theories and concepts to support your analysis of the differences, rather than just tell us what you think the differences are. So you could think here about concepts like Minsberg's management roles or Belbin's team roles. You could perhaps think about traits theory here and the extent to which leadership and management skills are down to nature or nurture. The second merit criteria focuses specifically on strengths and weaknesses. You could look at the models and approaches you described for past criteria 3, but now give a bit more analysis. What can contingency leadership and systems leadership do well, and in what situations might these approaches be less effective? Learning Outcome 3 is about the role leaders and managers play in operations management. The merit criteria here asks you to evaluate how leaders and managers can improve efficiencies of operational management to successfully meet business objectives. The past criteria just required an explanation, but now you need to build on this and tell us how effective leaders and managers can make things better. How specifically can they improve efficiencies? And efficiencies in this uh, context could cover things like cost savings, reducing waste, improved sustainability, or improved product quality. And finally, Merit Criteria 4, which is about the contemporary business environment. Here you need to consider again the factors you described for the past criteria, which were corporate social responsibility, values and ethics, culture and sustainability. But now you need to go into more depth about how these factors can affect operations management and also explain the impact that these have on an organisation's other stakeholders like the local community, investors and its supply chain.